Hello and welcome to RTC on Channel 4. I'm Abby Malco and here with me today is Mrs. Sturk. She and her husband are the head of the 100,000 Meals to Third World Country event, which is headed by her church, the Mill Creek Church. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you for being here. Very interesting topic. Also, she was my fifth grade teacher, so I had to continue to call her Mrs. Sturk. So hopefully the fifth grade thing worked out all right. But she is here to tell us about the church event, so if you would go ahead and start and let us know. Sure. Um, the event is entitled Feed My Starving Children, and we are going to distribute 100,000 meals to the neediest parts of the country um, throughout this program. What we're looking for is 500 community volunteers to partner with us. This event takes place at our church, but it's really something we're trying to get the community involved with. Um, we want to just reach out, give people a chance to help the starving children of the world. And if you've ever seen those ads on TV for different things, you just think, oh, I can give money and that's about it. This is a chance where you can do more than give money. In fact, we're not even asking anyone for money. We're just asking you to partner alongside of us and give two hours of your time during this event. The dates that it takes place are August 23rd and 24th. It's a Friday and a Saturday. And there, you sign up in two hour shifts. So we have three two-hour shifts on Friday that you could sign up for either in the afternoon, early evening, or late evening. And then on Saturday, we also have three shifts. You could sign up in the morning, um, kind of later in the afternoon, or a really late afternoon shift. And um, during the Saturday morning shift from 9 to 11, if people have kids five and under, and they want to come to a shift, but they don't know what to do with their kids, they can actually bring them to the church, and we're going to offer a child care shift there. So if they're not sure where their kids are going to go, we will take care of them for you. Also, if you have kids that are five or older that would like to help, um, we have places that they can work within the shifts. There are jobs they can do. When you go to the website to sign up, it will tell you the child to adult ratios. Um, the younger kids, of course, need more supervision and the older kids less. Um, so you can take a look at that there if you're interested in having kids help. Um, also, anyone that signs up for this event is going to receive a free t-shirt, so it's a little incentive yes. for you. Um, people know that you were part of this IPAC. Um, during this meal, we're going to have four what they call packing cells, and in these packing cells, there's going to be kind of like um, an assembly line where there are going to be different stations. Um, some of the foods that you're going to be packing and sealing are rice, vegetables, chicken, soy. These meals are scientifically proven to be the most nutritionally based that they can possibly be. Um, for what we're doing. Um, the price of the meal is 22 cents per meal and we were um, fortunate to have an anonymous donor provide all the funds for these meals. So like I said earlier, all we need is your time and your commitment to be there to help pack these meals and we're gonna, um, this organization is based out of um, Minneapolis, Minnesota and they're gonna make sure that these meals go to the neediest parts of the world. Um, they work with 70 different countries and all kinds of different organizations throughout those countries to make sure that they get where they need to go. So the food has already been provided, you just need the volunteers to help pack it mm -hmm. up? Yep, we're not asking for any money, we're just asking for time, which is sometimes harder to give than money, but, right. but we think it's really important that this be a community event. Um, we've already had a lot of local businesses help us out. Of course, RTC is helping us out with our advertising, and we greatly appreciate that. Um, Shepherd Chevrolet is donating the forklift that we need to load the meals onto the truck. And um, Woodlawn Hospital is bringing volunteers actually on the clock, so they're being paid at work while they're working this event for us, so that's really exciting. Oh, that's great. Um, we're excited to see how some of the other businesses and different school groups are going to help out. We've got some sports teams committed. Um, the football team has signed up here in town, and um, the tennis team, and we know there's going to be a lot more. So I've talked to some people that have worked these events before. They say it's a lot of fun. They can kind of get some competition going, seeing who, which cell can pack the meals faster. They kind of make it into a game. That's so, fun. yeah, it sounds like a lot of fun for people I've talked to. So, well, yeah, you've answered quite a few of the questions. So, is this the first year that you've done this project? Yep, this okay. this was brought to us. Like I said, we got the funds donated. They said we have the funds, we just don't have the time to do it right now. Would you guys be interested in this event? And so Scott and I thought it was something that we were really passionate about, and we said we'll take this on, even though we didn't know a lot about it. And we kind of jumped in head first and we're learning as we go. Um, the biggest push right now, we only have a few weeks left as you can see on these dates that we need. Um, we're about halfway there with our volunteers and that number is going to keep growing hopefully, but we still need quite a few people to step up and to sign up for these times. So the community, like you said, the community can help by vo making volunteer hours and that's great that you have sports teams and things mm -hmm. in the schools that will help. So. 
um, who can they contact and how do they sign up? They can contact myself or Scott. Um, we will provide the email at the bottom of the screen or phone numbers for you guys to reach us. The sign up is super easy. There's two different ways you can sign up and those are also going to be running on the bottom of the screen. Um, it's our church website, Mill Creek, or I'm sorry, thecreekonline.net. Um, there's pictures that scroll along. When you go on there, you just wait for the icon that says Feed My Starving Children, and you click on that, and it's going to take you to our event. You could also go to the Feed My Starving Children website, which is fmsc.org, and then backslash mobile pack, and then you can look for our state, and then right under Indiana, the first one is Rochester. So you just click that. You're going to go through and Pick your time slot. If you want to sign up for more than one time, you're surely more than welcome to do that. We have, like I said, six time slots available. So um, pick your time. It'll tell you the requirements. It'll, it's going to send you a reminder email about a week before. It's going to give you tips on what you need to bring or not bring. Um, there's certain restrictions. This is a USDA certified right. packing event, so there's going to be certain rules that you have to follow in order to be part of this. Okay, well, yeah, that's a lot of information, fabulous mm -hmm. information. And like you said, there's 70 different countries, and the company decides who gets what meals. Yes, and we will know after the event who those meals go to, but we currently don't know where they're going to end up right now. So. Right, and like you said, the meals, 22 cents per meal. That's, mm -hmm. that's crazy. That's they can get yeah. all that nutrients into that. So that sounds like a terrific event. Like she said, many hours are needed because, thankfully, all the food was already provided. And we have the contact information at the bottom of the screen. I don't have any more questions. Can you think of anything else you'd like to add? I think we covered anything, everything. We're just excited to see um, more businesses and more groups, community groups. We've talked with several different um, organizations throughout the community, and we're excited to see everybody come together and, and make a difference for these kids that really need it. Yeah, I think it's a great way to pull the community together, and like with the high schools and the elementary schools volunteering, and it's obviously such a great fundraiser and things yeah. to help feed people in other countries. So I'm really excited too to see the turnout. Hopefully, we have a lot of volunteers and more businesses as well. So I think that is a fantastic thing. Hopefully, you guys can keep it up. Yeah. You have a good turnout this year and keep it up for the next years. But thank you guys. I know you thanked us for helping with advertising, but thank you for doing this great event. Oh, it's, it should be very good. So I think that is all. Hopefully, you can check out the website and the contacts at the bottom of the screen. Thank you, like I said, for the interview and coming. And hopefully you can help us out on August 23rd and 24th. Thank you for watching.